All right, what's going on? So, a couple weeks ago, Nightfall, the second map for Extinction, came out, and I got to play it maybe two times online, and then I lost internet connection for about two weeks, maybe a week and a half. It was some bullshit, but um, I got playing it a little more yesterday when I got my internet back, and I'm really liking it. So, with Point of Contact, we just had an intro to Extinction and what the gameplay would be like. They brought a couple new features into Nightfall, and I haven't finished it yet. I've, like I said, played it maybe five, six times. Um, I've seen the ending to it online. It looks interesting, but I want to see it for myself, you know. Um... But they added this gun here. It kind of looks like the Blundergat. It's called the Venomax, and it sort of is like the Blundergat. It shoots this venom that you pick up from... I think you pick them up from scorpions. I believe they're the only ones who drop it, but I could be wrong about that. But you pick the ammo up, and it shoots the acid that they're shooting at you. That acid right there that's getting shot at me, it shoots that at them, and it blows up. It's really good against rhinos and the blue phantom alien guy, so we'll see how that plays out. You can only hold six shots, so I don't know. It's nice, but it only has six shots, so it's it's like everything else in Extinction. It's good, but there's a limit to it, unlike zombies where if you have the Blundergat, you can essentially go forever. There, right there, that's the ammo that you pick up. Um... And they also added these lockers. You can see them. They're behind me right now. You might see them again in a second when I turn around. But inside of them, they're free guns, pretty much. And you can find these keys around the map, you know, same place that you pick up any attachments or money or just stuff you can search. You'll find a locker key. And there are probably like 20, 30 of these lockers all around in little banks of two or four. And you open them up and you get a customized weapon. Sometimes it's a piece of shit. Sometimes it's really nice. I've never seen a Venom X in there, but I have seen customizable Mavericks, well, customized Mavericks. Um, I found this chainsaw in one of them actually so that was pretty nice I didn't have to waste the three grand on it um, they also added the breeder which shows up in the beginning and he's a pain in the ass he's kind of like the barrier hive I think he shows up again at the end maybe maybe not I'm not sure right here is about as far as I got I think we made it to one more hive after this one so um, I'm not sure. Now, the breeder is big, and he has a lot of health, and he shoots this red projectile that explodes, but he'll shoot like 30 at a time. So if you're sitting at a sentry gun just unloading on him, he'll shoot at you, and you can't shoot at him in that spot where the gun is placed for a good 30 seconds, 45 seconds. So he's a good challenge, but... It's the beginning. It's pretty easy once you've encountered him a couple times. So it's it's a good challenge, but it's not. You know, I would rather have a barrier hive. The barrier hives in Point of Contact were actually harder because they just took so long. They weren't attacking you, but they had so much health, you know? Um, so it's, it's an interesting map. It gives us a little perspective on the storyline and I really like that. That's what I didn't really like about Point of Contact. It was sort of it was vague. Hey there are aliens, place the nuke, get out, you know? They didn't go into any details. Now we're in the nightfall facility where <coughs> we know what these aliens are called. They're people who have information. So as this goes on and the storyline progresses and maybe there's going to be some crazy stuff going on perhaps even an easter egg or two so that's about it on nightfall i think it's a great map so i'm gonna finish the video here and i'll leave you with it's a great map anyway i'm that government if you like this video be sure to subscribe for more good content and i'm back i'll be 
putting more videos out as soon as I find the time. My internet's back up and running, so I can do more stuff. Anyway, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching.